Welcome back everyone, my name is Leif from Leber's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make panna cotta and how easy it is to make. So I was looking at recipes to make for dessert and I thought I'd change things up. I've made panna cotta plenty of times but I haven't made, actually made it in a while so we're going to make it tonight and it is so easy to make. A lot of people think that it is really hard to make but once you get around the use of the gelatin leaves it is so easy. So for the ingredients, this is why this is so easy. It's only got four ingredients. So first we've got the gelatine leaves. So what happens with these is we'll soak these first in some cold water and then we'll wring them out and put them into the actual mixture. And what this does is it stops all the gelatine from like going lumpy and everything into your mixture. It makes it very smooth. So you can get really good results using this. If you don't have this, you can use powdered gelatine and you can just sprinkle that on top. Just remember, you're probably not gonna get the smoothest consistency. And on this packet, it says, for every two leaves, you're gonna need one teaspoon of gelatine. So for this one, we're gonna use three leaves. So you're gonna need a teaspoon and a half of gelatine for this recipe. And then all you're gonna need is some cream. I've got thick and cream because that's what I use all the time. This already has gelatin in it, so it might affect the consistency. So just keep that in mind. And then we've got some vanilla. And then also I've got half a cup of sugar. Now, because this recipe is so easy, I can change this up. So I'm using Elios tonight, and that is a keto approved sweetener. So this is actually gonna be low carb and it's gonna be turned out really good. If you don't have this, and you want to use normal sugar, go for it, by all means. Um, I could use the Repitol and Stevia blend as well, but I do find that it does um, go a bit, little bit grainy after it does um, settle. So I prefer using Alios for this sort of thing. So the thing that actually takes the most time is actually soaking the gelatine leaves. So, so these are the leaves here. We're going to put three of these into cold water and we're gonna let these soak for about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna put that aside for now. For this recipe as well, I'm gonna be using raspberries in mine. Now, raspberries fresh are dead set expensive at the moment. So I've got some frozen raspberries and I'll just defrost them on some paper towel here. And that just, just absorbs all the extra liquid and everything from, so it's not gonna change the consistency of your actual panna cotta. And then we're gonna grab a pot and we're gonna add our two cups of cream. So now I'm gonna add our sweetener. Obviously you can use sugar or you can use, I'm using alveolus as I said, which is a sweetener that almost mimics sugar. And then we're gonna add a good teaspoon of vanilla. Now, if you had a vanilla pod, go for it. I don't have the money for vanilla pods, so I'm just using some extract. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this onto the stove and we are gonna make sure we get this warmed up and then we're gonna dissolve the gelatin in it and then we're done. Nice and easy. So now we're gonna put this onto a medium heat and we wanna just hit really gent this through get all that sugar all dissolved in it and have it warm through so we can melt the gelatine in it. So now it's been five minutes and you can see this is all gone soft now. That is now ready to use. So you wanna grab all the leaves. You wanna squeeze out all the excess water. So now I'm gonna add the gelatine to the cream and all we're gonna do is just let that dissolve. At this time we can turn off the stove. There should be enough heat in there to dissolve it, it should dissolve almost instantly. And we're done. Now we're ready to put it into our glasses. And then I have our glasses. These are just the desserts you get in the supermarket in the glasses. So I'm gonna be using these today, but you can use anything you want. You can put it into a mug or anything like that. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of this in the bottom. So when I go to put the raspberries in, you're not going to completely be at the bottom. Now 
And then we've got our raspberries here. And I'm just gonna put some of these in. And you wanna make sure these are defrosted if you're using frozen raspberries. Or else what will happen is when they defrost, they'll let all their water and everything. And that will affect the consistency. All right, I think that looks about good. And now all we're gonna do is just pour this on top. All right, so I've just popped these into a container. I'm gonna put these into the fridge and we're gonna let them set for about four hours until they're fully set. And then we're gonna unmold it and try them out. So it's the next day now. I didn't have time to actually try this out last night. So I'm gonna try it out now. So it's fully set now. That looks beautiful. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit this into some warm water and just let that gelatin around the glass just almost just loosen a little bit and then we can plop it onto a plate. You could also just eat this as is if you wanted to. You can see how all that raspberry is just all sat in there beautifully. So just some hot tap water for this is perfectly fine. And then we can just sit this in here for just a couple of minutes. Now this time we just go around the edges and just make sure it's released from the glass, which it looks like it has. All right, let's plop this out. Wish me luck. I probably did leave that in there just a little bit too long, but look at that wobble. Look at that wobble. That looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna clean it up and then we're gonna try it out. So let's try this out, looks pretty good. That wobble, that's almost perfect to me. Now I did leave it in the hot water for a little bit too long. You can see it did melt a little bit, but other than that, I'm very happy with this. The raspberries are sitting there properly. Let's try this out. It's almost like a gourmet jelly. You got that silky smooth, almost like jelly. Tastes absolutely amazing. And then you got the raspberries down the bottom there, which give a nice tartness and it is so good. So I hope you try this recipe. It's really easy to do it at home. And once you get around the gelatin and everything, it's really easy. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a good old like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.